Hey everyone, this question comes from a few athletes in Colorado. It's actually not a question, it's just they wanted to know my thoughts. So they recently did a camp in Colorado and the last night they listened to a panel of experts and one of the biggest takeaways from quite a few of those athletes was that these pro panel um, swam six to seven days a week and so they just wanted to know my thoughts. So I actually just got done with the swim where I process um, questions and answers and I came up with a lot of thoughts. Um, first of all, when I started training for triathlon 25 years ago, I continued to train like a swimmer. I swam through college, started triathlon, triathlon actually while I was in college, but when I was graduated and I was just training for triathlon now, not swimming, I continued to swim as a swimmer. I tried to run like a runner and cycle like a cyclist which led to a lot of overtraining and injury. I didn't know how to train like a triathlete. So I just wanted to make that comment. Um, swimmers, yes, they do train a lot. I used to swim doubles junior high through college. I did two a days and I wasn't biking or running or strength training. I was just swimming. So you want to take that into account. Also your experience your strengths, your limiters, and your availability, um, time available to train will dictate how many days a week you swim. And you want to remember that these professional triathletes, probably most of them, this is what they do. I'm not sure if they had full-time jobs, kids, family, whatever their livelihoods were. But as a professional triathlete, they tend to do more volume of training than the typical age grouper does. So you want to keep those things into account as you're listening to their advice. One of the athletes commented, I'm going to read it right here, um, that, which I agree on, is that um, the reason these professionals were swimming six to seven days a week is because swimming works you aerobically without having an impact on your body. So I think that's very true when, when you are swimming and you're mixing up intensity, endurance, strength, speed, threshold, and drill workouts, you are building this big aerobic base. I personally have phased swimming in and out of my training. Like I said, when I started, I used to continue to train like a swimmer, like six days a week, kind of a high volume of swimming because that's all I knew. Um, then there's been periods where I've taken six months off and only swam for about six to eight weeks during the build phase of my training. And I, I got to the point where I needed to be with my speed. That was my goal with only six to eight weeks of training. But again, I have 25 plus years be of experience behind me. And so when you get advice from professionals and you get advice from other athletes, you want to consider how much experience they have, what's their strengths, what's their weaknesses, as well as what is your experience, what is your strength and weaknesses to determine if you should swim um, a lot or a little. Now, um, leading up to my most recent race, I swam twice a week, but I swam high quality. And... Last year, when I moved to Georgia, I swam a lot because I had an outdoor pool and I just wanted to swim because it felt good. So there's just got to be a purpose for your swim workouts. Um, definitely, it does, it does build a, a nice aerobic base fitness and it is good for the body. And if you're injured, swimming's a great um, sport to fall back on when you're not running as much. So that that's awesome. Um, another comment an athlete made was one of the coaches believes in speed, a lot of speed and a lot of intervals. I do too, but I'm also a swimmer and I like that. If your technique is crappy, doing all the speed and the intervals you want to do, if you have crappy technique, that's not necessarily going to make you a better swimmer. So again, you want to make sure you're looking at the source of the advice and take into account where you're at. Do you need, I, I believe at least since I started teaching adult swim technique, a lot of adults need to back off the training, back off the intensity and increase the amount of um, drills and skills that they do to improve in their swimming stroke. So it doesn't necessarily mean more days of swimming per week, but it does mean that they have to swim more with a purpose. Another thing, um, a, another good reason for swimming more frequently is getting a feel for the water. You only use your swimming muscles um, and technique in the water you don't use them on land. Whereas when you're walking and standing on your legs, you're constantly 
um, kind of stimulating those running and cycling muscles in your legs. Swimming, you're not. So you can only, you're only going to work on your breathing technique in the water. You're only going to work on your swimming strength and muscles in the water. So that's another reason to, to swim frequently. So again, the basics, the basics of my thoughts are, um, don't just go and swim seven days a week because a professional tells you to. And make sure if you do want to increase the volume of your swimming, make sure you're doing it with a purpose and you're still mixing up um, technique, endurance, strength, speed, and threshold at various times of the year leading up to your race for maximum results. So again, a great conversation I was having with these athletes. And um, if you have questions, I'd love to hear more about what you want to know about swimming and how many days a week you should be training. Um, remember that I do offer free swim technique. That's usually a good place to start. You can leave me a voicemail on speakpipe.com um, slash endurance hour. And I would love to hear your voice question, or you can leave a comment below. Anyways, make it a great day and, and keep the conversation going.